Thank you. 
us as we celebrate the Chicago Folk Service. The first reading is from Ezekiel 18, verses 1 through 4, and 25 through 32. The word of the Lord came to me. What do you mean by repeating this proverb concerning the land of Israel? The parents have eaten sour grapes, and the children's teeth are set on edge. As I live, says the Lord God, this proverb shall no more be used by you in Israel. Know that all lives are mine. The life of the parent as well as the life of the child is mine. It is not, it is only the person who sins that shall die. Yet you say, the way of the Lord is unfair. Hear now, O house of Israel, is my way unfair? Is it not your ways that are unfair? When the righteous turn away from their righteousness and commit iniquity, they shall die for it. For the iniquity that they have committed they shall die. Again, when the wicked turn away from the wickedness they have committed and do what is lawful and right, they shall save their life. Because they considered and turned away from all the transgressions that they have committed, they shall surely live. They shall not die. Yet the house of Israel says, The way of the Lord is unfair. O house of Israel, are my ways unfair? Is it not your ways that are unfair? Therefore I will judge you, O house of Israel, all of you according to your ways, says the Lord God. Repent and turn from all your transgressions, otherwise iniquity, iniquity will be your ruin. Cast away from you all transgressions that you have committed against me, and get yourselves a new heart and a new spirit. Why will you die, O house of Israel? For I have no pleasure in death of anyone, says the Lord God. Turn then and live. Word of God, word of life. Thank Thanks be to God. We continue in Philippians with Paul's letter to them. Chapter 2 starting in verse 1. Is there any such thing as Christians cheering each other up? Do you love me enough to want to help me? Does it mean anything to you that we are brothers in the Lord, sharing the same spirit? Are your hearts tender and sympathetic at all? Then make me truly happy by loving each other and agreeing wholeheartedly with each other, working together with one heart and mind and purpose. Don't be selfish. Don't live to make a good impression on others. Be humble, thinking of others as better than yourself. Don't just think about your own affairs but be interested in others too, and in what they are doing. Your attitude should be the kind that was shown us by Jesus Christ, who, though he was God, did not demand and, and cling to his rights as the Son of God, but laid aside his mighty power and glory, taking the disguise of a slave and becoming like men, 
And he humbled himself even further, going so far as actually to die as a criminal's death on the cross. Yet it was because of this that God raised him up to the heights of heaven and gave him a name which is above every other name. That at the name of Jesus, every knee shall bow in heaven and on earth and under the earth. And every tongue shall confess that Jesus Christ is Lord to the glory of God the Father. Dear friends, when I was there with you, you were always so careful to follow my instructions. And now that I am away, you must be even more careful to do the good things that result from being saved, obeying God with deep reverence, shrinking back from all that might displease Him. Word of God, word of love. Praise be to God. I'd like to invite you to remain seated, but please prepare for the backpack blessing by looking in your bulletin if you have one in the insert section for backpack blessing. I'd like to also encourage you to remember that we're praying for all students, all teachers, all college instructors and professors, and for especially students we know and love. Let us pray. God of all knowledge and wisdom, bless these people who bring their backpacks, their briefcases, and themselves for a blessing during this school year. Let us all say the blessing together aloud. As students carry these backpacks, may they be reminded of the love and care of this congregation that surrounds them each day. Lord, help them to do their best, guide them to make right choices, and remind them that your love and presence are always with them. Fill them with curiosity, understanding, respect for their teachers, and care and compassion for other students. Help us encourage our children and understand the challenges and fear of failure that can come each new year. Help us to have realistic children that are neither unreachable nor unchallenging. Oh God, we give thanks for teachers, administrators, and staff who work with children each day, and we ask a blessing on those we remember in our hearts today. Thank you for Mr. Zuleika. Oh God, bless the briefcases, totes, and materials of teachers and administrators of our schools, the schools of the children, the colleges, and the teachers and instructors of our congregation, our Savior's Lutheran Church. As all these students, teachers, and educators attend and serve the schools throughout our city, and our nation and our world, we pray. May these teachers and staff be reminded that this congregation supports them in their roles and surrounds them with our love and care. Spirit, help the teachers and administrators care for every student. Find the best in each one and understand those who have special needs. Give them patience and strength to never give up, and assurance that you, God, are always with them. We pray together. In, In your love, love and mercy, surround our children and our schools with your protection, 
that they may be safe places for all who enter. We pray in the name of Jesus. Amen. It's our privilege today to receive a noisy offering. Um, this is understood to be a coin offering or offering of any size. Um, checks can be made out to our Lutheran, our Savior's Lutheran Church, and the note is for the beneficiary this quarter, which is called Seton House, a wonderful home for those who are overcoming abuse. Let's sing Jesus Loves Me. Let me explain where I'm coming from. We're all hungry. 
year of my ordination when I was serving at another church in another state. So hungry that I ate everything I could get my hands on. None of you ever been through that, have you? Yeah. <laughs> but I wasn't really hungry. I was stressed. And so God was delighted when the bishop of that time and place commanded, and they didn't do this very often, commanded that every clergy person in the entire synod sit for one hour of education, and this were, these were the themes, and I learned them well because we were tested on them. And I, I commend this to you as a way to show that you believe in spiritual life. So here goes. Number one, move more. I saw you moving during that song that you sang. Good, you'll have to move some more when you sing another song. Second, eat more produce. What's produce, Bill? What's your favorite produce item? Yeah. 
referencing something we all understand. It was the amazing and powerful invitation of John the Baptist to come and go walk the way of God's righteousness. And yet, religious people like you and me, please, let's like pretend they're like Lutherans, okay? Um, the faithful people who were inside the temple where Jesus was teaching, you know, the day after his triumphal entry into Jerusalem, riding on a colt, riding on an ass and the colt of an ass. We call this commemoration of Palm Sunday every year. Jesus had entered the holy city and then went into the holy temple and overturned all the tables and kicked out those who were making God's house a house of thieves. And Jesus declared this is a house of prayer. That day is the day when his antagonists were questioning whether he had any God-given authority. And so Jesus is giving us this parable for a practical purpose for us here today, which is that we are called to believe the word of God, to believe in Jesus Christ, God's Son, and understand that God sent John the Baptist to prepare the way for this amazing faith. We are called to obey God to the best of our ability and say, I cannot, when we cannot. Because guess what? We are all but for the people inside the temple who were questioning Christ's authority or wondering, is this really for me to do? I'm really supposed to love somebody that I just met and I don't like their looks? Or things like that. But also, we're all the people in the streets. Even if you know you have some Hebrew heritage in your life, I say congratulations. And yet, if you don't, Rise to the ability to obey the way of God and God's righteousness and open heartedness towards the Spirit. Then we're behaving like the people in the streets who were not even allowed in the temple, weren't even considered part of that faithful vineyard. And yet they were, because John spoke to them and they believed in John that the Messiah had come and was about to be right with us. And he is here. He's Christ! He's the one who came to die for us and rose again in great victory. Have some victory, folks. Are you hungry for God today? Some of us are. And I, I assure you, God's word promises you will be fed because truly this entire section, if you will read through it, in fact, I want to assign this to you. The last part of Matthew chapter 20, all of chapter 21, all of chapter 22, this is all about God's hunger for fruit. See what I'm saying? He wants produce. Amen.
believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, God's only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell, and on the third day he rose again. He ascended into heaven, and he is seated at the right hand of the Father, and he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. Drawn together in the compassion of God, we pray for the church, we pray for the world, and we pray for all those who are in need. In all the world, give your church unity. Inspire all the baptized with the mind of Christ. Where the church is powerful and where it struggles, shape us with humility and obedience so that your love may be, be at work in us. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Your Son took all of the bodily life in our world, even to death. Preserve and keep your creation, O God. Mend and redeem places that are polluted and damaged, so that all of creation confesses you as Lord. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Turn the nations toward life. Where our ways are unfair, give us new hearts and new spirits. Where sin permeates our cultures and institutions, change the minds and teach us to trust your authority. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Our lives are yours, O God. Relieve the suffering of those who are ill in body, mind, or spirit, and especially for those who have requested our prayers. Jolene, Jerry, Kim, Debbie, Phil, Parker, Gloria, Cody, Judy, Lori, Betty, Marilyn, Dawn, Jennifer, Connor, Lisa, Myrna Montgomery Assembly, Youth Ministry, and all faith communities. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Turn this congregation away from our own interests toward the interests of others. Fill us with your compassion and sympathy. Bless ministries of care in our community. Make us into signs of your mercy and justice for our neighbors. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Here, other intercessions may be offered. Oh God, we pray for guidance for all who are waiting to hear about opportunities for health care, waiting to hear about diagnoses and care plans. Bless them, Lord, with your guidance and healing in the name of Jesus. Lord, in your mercy. Hear our prayer. We thank you, oh God, for those who have gone into the kingdom ahead of us. Tax collectors, prostitutes, and other saints who taught us the faith, both those who are likely and those unlikely, those who are obedient and those slow to learn by our witness and by the witness of those saints. Teach us to confess Jesus Christ as Lord in life and in death. Lord, in your mercy. Prayer. All these things and whatever else you see that we need, we entrust to your mercy through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. May the peace of Christ be with you always. And also with you. Let's get up and share God's peace with someone. I heard a guy on TV say you can give each other peace with your cat.
You have set before us these gifts of your good creation. Prepare us for your heavenly banquet. Nourish us with this rich food and drink. And send us forth to set tables in the midst of a suffering world through the bread of life, Jesus Christ, our Savior and our Lord, who taught us to pray, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen.